On the occasion of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, the National Commission for Lebanese Women has organized an event entitled The Role of Education in Combating Gender-Based Violence in the Framework of the EU-Funded Project Gender Equity and Empowerment of Women in Lebanon. The event saw high-level attendance with the participation of the head of the cooperation section at the EU delegation to Lebanon, Dr. Alexis Lober, Ministry of Education Representative Ms. Vera Zaytouni, and Secretary General of the NCLW, Mr. Fadi Karam. The speakers underlined the importance of education in combating gender-based violence. How important is education in preventing violence against women and children here in Lebanon mainly? Lebanese women and, and uh, girls are uh, very well educated. Lebanon is known for the high level of education. But still, unfortunately, we have many incidences and statistics are not good as far as violence against women and girls are concerned um, in Lebanon. And so there is an, an educational aspect uh, for all the parties involved, the, the women, the girls, and also the men and the society and the cultural traditions to reduce violence uh, against women and girls. Of course, what we will say that as achievement we have done is at least, you know, to prepare some laws where we will have the changes concerning women issues where, uh, as you know, uh, we have problems. And one of them is the violence against women, that today we are here for it. The conference that we did concerning that, it's about uh, women issues. And this year, the 16-day campaign that we have it, it's about education versus women violence and to start that it would be implemented through the schools and of course for the young students at the school to start knowing about the violence against women and to grow up with the education that there should be equality between men and women. Do you think we can soon have a law that prevents violence against women in Lebanon? Well, we hope so. We're trying hard with all the new implementation of the laws. We are trying hard and maybe one day, why not? We should never lose hope for that. So can you tell us a little about the activities you've been doing at universities to prevent gender-based violence? So basically we had uh, more than one activity that targeted not only uh, uh, college students but also uh, uh, school students who we went to schools in Beirut and we tried to promote gender equality there. Uh, we had some awareness campaigns on campus to an AUB uh, to promote uh, non-violence on campus or in Lebanon. We had um, a mini magazine. Um, it was a space for students to talk about their issues to draw what they think. Uh, it, we had a platform for students to speak their minds about these issues and other issues that target, uh, that uh, talks about women. How are students usually reacting to uh, violence against women? It's surprising that when they don't see violence in front of their eyes, they think that violence is not there when it's actually there. This is why we're trying to raise awareness as much as we can on campus to tell the students that you have to go there, you have to ask about the issue, you have to try and find a solution because it's here and it's in front of my, uh, our eyes and we're not doing anything yet. 